Welcome back to Get Google Ready for 2024. And in this lesson, I'm gonna be taking you through the process of optimizing your shopping campaigns. Now, the focuses that I'm gonna be taking you through for this lesson is for your shopping campaigns, I'm gonna be showing you how to review the search terms. So what we're doing there is we're looking at the terms that users are using that have triggered your ads, and then we can go through and add in extra negative keywords. And then I'm also gonna be taking through the process of just doing a check of your product titles, how that is lining up to the most popular search terms. And what we wanna be doing there is we wanna be making sure that our product titles include the most popular search terms. And the reason for why that is so important is because with shopping campaigns, we're not selecting the keywords that we wanna target and because we can't select the keywords, Google is getting the data for which keywords to trigger your ads from your product titles and also your descriptions. And then finally, I'm gonna take you through the process of optimizing your shopping feed. Now, there are two other important actions that you need to do when it comes to optimizing your shopping campaigns, and that is looking at your campaign segmentation. And this is the process where you look to break out different product categories into different shopping campaigns. And then also the last option that you've got for optimizing your shopping campaigns is going through your automated bidding strategy. So making sure that you're setting your target rowers points correctly. Now for those last two points, the reason why I'm not covering it in this video, because they're quite more complicated tasks, I wanted to put a full video into both of those, which will be coming through throughout this Get Google Ready playlist. So as we go through these first tasks, what I will be doing is I'll be referencing my Google Ads optimized checklist for e-commerce businesses. And if you wanna get access to that checklist, so you also know all of the tasks you need to do to optimize your shopping campaigns, just follow that link in the description below. But right now, let's get into the process so I can show you how to optimize your shopping campaigns. Okay, so I've got my e-commerce optimization checklist ready to go. And what we first wanna be doing is going through and reviewing the search terms to see if we need to add in any extra negative keywords. So what you wanna be doing in here is we're in our shopping campaign and you wanna be going into your insights and reports, then into your search terms. And what we want to be looking at through here is, are there any search terms which are not relevant? And I've got some in here that I'm going to be taking out. And the reason being is because they are for competitor campaigns and we're going to be targeting them in a separate campaign. So we just go through and add them as negative keywords. So that's essentially the process you're going into. You're going to insights and your search terms and looking to knock out any search terms which are not relevant for your business. So the second part of what you want to be doing from here is you want to filter this down by impressions. And what we want to be doing here is that we want to be reviewing the search terms to find keywords and add them into our product titles. So what we want to be going through is that we just want to be going through and the way that I generally do this is I break this down by different search themes. So let's just go through here and then what you want to be doing is you want to be going into your products. So I've taken a note of the top keywords and what we want to be doing is then just filtering this down by impressions as well and just really make sure that the top keywords that users are using or the top search terms should I say that users are using are also included in your product titles. Now, if there was the case that you were wanting to uh, make any of these changes, you would do that either in your Shopify store or your Google merchant feed. But what I want you to understand is what you're wanting to do is you're wanting to firstly check the search terms, find out what the most popular search terms are, and then also make sure that you've got those search terms included in your product titles. And then the third thing you, you wanna be going through and doing is when you're in your ad groups, go into your product groups, and what you wanna be doing from here is that you wanna be making sure where you're spending the money that you're also getting the top performance. So now, one thing I will say is that this is a new campaign. It's only been running for 30 days. So we're not ready to yet make these changes, but what you wanna be doing is through here, you can break this out into an extra subdivision. And what we wanna be going in through here is eventually we wanna be seeing and making sure that where we're spending the most money, so if you break this down by cost, is where you're also getting the conversions. And the other thing that you wanna be checking is I would also add in this conversion value cost, because so you wanna be making sure, look, at the moment, once again, this is only a new campaign, there's nothing wrong in here because you can see our top three spending products are also our top three performing products in terms of revenue. So what you wanna be going through on like a three monthly process is you wanna be going through and making sure that Google is spending the money where you're also getting the conversions. And if you do see a case where you know your top spending products are just giving you no conversions at all, what you can do is just go through and exclude a group of products. So there's some of the main actions that you can use to optimize your shopping campaigns. But remember, if you want the full list of actions that you need to complete to optimize your shopping campaigns in 2024, make sure you follow that link in the description below. 
Once again, thank you for joining me. It's been my absolute pleasure having you here. My name is Aaron Young from Define Digital Academy. And if you wanna stay up to date whenever I release a new training video in this, in this series of Get Google Ready, make sure that you don't only subscribe, but you turn on that notification bell so that notification comes straight to your phone. And if you wanna watch all of the videos that I have live in my Get Google Ready playlist, go through and watch this playlist right here. See you next time. Thank you.